comment, and subscribe. Thanks. My hair was like decent enough most of the day and then of course I go to tape my video and my hair is like unraveling. There's so much going on with my hair right now. And I'm wearing a lava mic so it's probably picking up all this sound. We'll see. So anyway, um, welcome to my channel. This is drippy art um, and poetry and um, it's an art channel. And right now, almost exclusively, I've been uploading my poetry and animating it. The reason why I initially started animating my poetry is because sometimes on camera I can be a little awkward, um, but that's probably in real life as well. And if they have to suffer, so should you. <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, what I do is I animate the poems, but before I do that, I just want to be able to talk to you about what they, you know, the meaning of them and what I was thinking when I was uh, doing the writing process. I've been writing since as almost as long as I can remember. I've always done poetry. So much is lost just because of age and moving and becoming an adult and getting rid of things. So, so much of my work is lost, but what I do have in my possession and what I currently write, um, it is my intent to animate all of them, if at all possible, and put them up for everyone to see. And um, I also do short stories and other writings as well. However, my poetry right now is what I'm focusing on. So, um, what we'll be reading today is I Am The Gift. I know it's titled a little differently down in the YouTube library on my channel, but um, when I wrote the poem and placed it in my book, it was titled I am the gift so it's a very short poem and basically how that poem came about my thought process when writing it was um, you know everything has its value everyone every career every job I think sometimes when we become you know a doctor or a um, an astronaut we think of our job as being life-changing no my job is the most important no my job is what I do is the most but actually that's not true at all it's very 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 false um, sense of uh, self uh, first of all I don't believe that who you are should be titled to what you to, to should be attached to what you do however even more so we don't tend to I think think about jobs as having value unless first of all unless it makes a whole lot of money which doesn't make any sense a bee farmer could very well be the person who's keeping the entire civilization alive and we can go there I can have that conversation with you um, but a doctor is only limited to one or two or three people at a time whenever they're touching throughout a day right um, we, we have medical scientists, right? Um, they're able to spread, um, you know, help a larger scale of people. But a bee farmer, again, is saving all the doctors. Why? We don't know who the keystone species is. If you don't understand what the keystone species is, uh, you can go and look that up. Uh, but if I told someone a bee farmer was just as important as a doctor, they would refute me on that. Why? Because a bee farmer um, doesn't take make as much money. Um, their title isn't as grand as we've given a doctor. If I think about a celebrity, people are like, oh my gosh, they will have like grandiose, you know, um, expectations and like, you know, the the, the image, imagery in their head when thinking about a celebrity would be grand but again if I told you about you know apple snails again another possible keystone species or spiders you know uh, uh, their value seems small so again I say all this to say that you can't attach we we we, we attach value disproportionately and so a po even someone as an artist, a poet, has their place. They add great value. Um, and so you'll see in this poem, there's, I show that juxtaposition between an artist and um, a doctor or a nurse. 
And of course, when we're getting to something that is merely visual and we're getting to something that is merely emotional, as art tends to be, yes, we could almost exclusively give all the value to a doctor or a nurse. So we're not taking that away from them. However, the artist does still have value um, because smiling and making you happy and adding color and life to living is an important job. Um, it would be miserable without it. Being here, existence would be miserable without it. There are, you know, cultures that kind of shun music and shun, and the people are genuine, generally unhappy because as human beings, we require more than just to be worker bees or uh, worker ants, you know? We have desires beyond just immediate survival. So that's all that was going on here. I just made a short poem about, um, and I just thought about an individual's value. So here's the poem, and it's so short that I really don't even need to open up my book to read it to you, And I, I think. So I'll try to remember. Um, here we go. I have my paper. I have my pen. I'm an artist about to begin. No, I'm not a doctor or a nurse. I know what you're thinking. She better not be about to compare the two. Comparing art to a doctor or a nurse is like comparing earphones to earplugs or even better, a wool sweater to a purse. One of these things will improve your overall condition, but come on now, getting the other in a bag with a bow will improve your disposition, so I'll take what I can get, if only a smile on your face. If all I did was not made, is made you not sad, I've done what I've come to do, not take away from your life, but add. Oh, so I hope you liked it. Um, Sorry, I messed up a little bit. Um, I don't know which one of my books it's in. I am gonna look through those books and try to find that. Uh, maybe before I finish editing my video so that I can fix it, but if not, um, you, ha you have the, the animated version, so there you go. Have a good day and like, subscribe to my channel. Make me like a full-time writer, come on. You know you want that. <laughs>
I'm an artist. About to begin. <clears throat> hmm. No, I'm not a doctor. Or a nurse. Now, I know what you're thinking. She better not compare the two. Comparing art to a doctor or a nurse is like comparing earmuffs to earphones. Or even better, a wool sweater to a purse. One of these things will improve your overall condition, but come on now. Getting the other in a bag with a bow will improve your disposition. So I'll take what I can get. If only a smile on your face. If all I did was made you not sad, I've done what I came to do. Not take away from your life, but add. <laughs> 